Our book is called Presidents in Black America Documentary History, and Dr. Steve Jones, who's an MSU alum, recovering journalist, and uh, on the history faculty at Central Michigan, and I take American history from colonial days through the Obama administration and look at the complex relationships between our presidents and black Americans, both their official interaction and, and some of their personal interactions. A good way to look at the findings and what it might mean today is to look at the campaign that led to Ob Obama's election and to look at the, the current campaign and what's happened during his administration. Obama made several speeches where he talked about the diversity of America and about the reality that race was still a political issue. The book quotes from an interview he gave to a radio reporter who said, Mr. President, why do you have black leaders thinking that you're not being responsive to their needs? And the president's response, in essence, is, I'm the president of all the United States. What I do, for one, should help them all. And essentially, as the tide rises, then that should help African Americans as well. But I cannot be president just for black Americans. This year's campaign, race, I would contend, is an issue in two ways. One, the immigration debate. Much of that underlying the debate is based on race. The second, is, uh, there are elements of the Tea Party movement. The Tea Party movement itself is overwhelmingly white, although Herman Cain, who was a black executive of Godfather Pizza, had a lot of Tea Party support. I show uh, a slide with some of the posters that Tea Party activists have held up at rallies that, that are blatantly racist. The Tea Party leaders say, no, that's a fringe of the movement, and that's not how we think. But race is still there as a factor. And it probably will be into the indefinite future, whether President Obama wins or is defeated. Mm -hmm.